Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I uh, just got here a Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. So I'm inside the vehicle here. It's all a little bit futuristic, these ones. It's got this nice big fancy screen on it, but the customer complaint is the cruise control and a few other bits and pieces don't work. So let's get the launch Eurotab free and we'll set up a scan. Okay, so we're in. Now, because this has got electrical issues, I'm going to do, not normally what you do, obviously go to an engine, scan. We don't know where the issue is on this, so I'm just gonna run a smart scan, which is basically gonna run through everything. So we're still going through it here at the minute. You can see there that we've got quite a few issues coming up, but we're not finished yet. Almost there, and a lot of different modules to go through. Okay, it looks like we're done. Let's start at the top. Video connection fault. Absence of communication with the B BSI, basically. Parking information fault, rain sensor fault, LIN fault. Locking of the electronic steering lock. Mm. So basically there's a fault everywhere. Oil fault, diesel and rev pump. No communication with the ECU. Engine fuse box, ECU internal fault. So that's that is likely. It is likely that there's a problem with that. It is common on these Citroens. What else have we got there? Transponder, ECU supply. So that's going to point now at either there's a, nice, a supply voltage issue, battery issue, or the wiring corrosion. I think I've done one of these before where we cleaned up the terminals. So all the same sort of thing, there's no communication with the ECU. So it's obviously intermittent, because if, the, if it permanently had no communication with the ECU, it shouldn't even start or drive, should it? Uh, let's go back out of this. And we'll run a battery test. Okay, we've got that connected up to the battery. So we'll run a battery test now. Battery life, 22%. State of charge, 37%. We've literally just switched off the engine. Uh, internal resistance, 6.31. Replaced the battery. So the battery is definitely part of the cause anyway if not the full cause but we're gonna have a look around see what else we can find so I'm gonna take out the airbox because we're gonna re look at replacing the battery anyway and see if we can get this plastic housing off here and have a look at the condition of the terminals so we'll get that disconnected from there and pull the tab up on this plug here and get that out now let's see what we need to do to get the rest of this out Be sure it just pops up. We've got a little tab on there we need to get released. Okay, we've got some more wiring that we need to pull apart here. Make a quite difficult job of just getting a battery out, don't they? Bury it behind all of this stuff. Got wires and plugs everywhere. Uh, we'll take off this terminal here. It should just pop up. So having a little look around this 
it looks like it moves got a terminal in there few clips here we'll just get all this plastic cover off having a look at these terminals here that don't seem right to me they seem very loose it's like you can see the fuse blade just moving like it's wobbling they all seem to be the same though I'm going to use my tester here just to see if we've got continuity across all of these blades. So just taking the two 10 millimeter bolts out from there just to remove this full panel and move it forward and it looks like we have another couple here on a clamp that holds the battery in so i hope you can see here but just on top here we've got another little piece of plastic and it looks like it's locked behind this earthen point here. So I'm just going to get that out. What a stupid design that is. Now we can reach the back terminal just in there. We'll get it off. It's just in there. So just use the long extension there to get that out. We've got the battery out there. 760 amp Okay, so now we've got the new battery all in there So before I go back inside and check the rest of the stuff The request from this customer is that he's gone on a 2,000 mile trip to Spain and He wants to make sure everything's okay. So what I've done is I've raised up the back of the car We're gonna take off the Eli's tank make sure that that's topped up and just check various bits and pieces around the car Make sure it's all in good condition I can see that the brakes are all in good order. So I just drop the tank down here and as usual it's empty so I'm gonna get it filled up. Just take off this fuel line here and we'll get it filled up. So just got a pipe in here and just gonna fill this up now. Just holding it on a doing a gravity bleed. I mean sorry a gravity fill. Okay, so that's the tank all filled up and it's fitted back to the car there, just behind the rear rear passenger side wheel. Okay, now the tank has been fitted, the battery's been fitted, we're just gonna rescan the whole entire car here. Now I'm gonna clear all of the faults. We'll see what stays cleared and we'll take it on a test drive, rescan it, see what faults come back. Okay, now all of the faults have been cleared, everything's green. We'll take it on a test drive. Okay, so I'm going to activate the cruise control. I can see there the cruise control is working. Let's increase it up a little bit. So the drive done, we're just running another scan. Seems like everything's green so far. Okay, so after the test drive, all of the components are still up green. The next part, which is unrelated, I'm just gonna have a, just having a quick test to see. Uh, another complaint the customer said is his AC doesn't work. He's brought it to an AC specialist. Um, they regassed it and it doesn't get cold still. But they said it doesn't have a leak uh, and they can't find an issue. Now I doubt I'm going to find an issue. I just want to see that 
by resetting everything and replacing the battery has it made any difference it doesn't seem to have I'll be honest so we've got the AC on yeah no it doesn't seem to be working but the strange thing is is that there is no fault in here apparently it's been regassed I don't have a machine to check that um, maybe somebody watching this would probably know that there's some sort of silly common fault with these that stops the AC from coming on so with faults like this anyway electrical faults they can be intermittent so from what I've done here so far seems to have cured the problem of course we're gonna need the customer to drive this around for at least say three or four days to confirm that the faults haven't come back and what I'm gonna have to do is rely on him to either come back here to the comments and leave a, a message to say yeah it's been okay or not or hopefully relay the feedback back to me whichever way so I said that's the C4 Grand Picasso we're all done on it and I'll see you in the next video